Here's a GRE vocab question. Let's take a look. The name of the Sloan Matthew Library has long been blank. Even longtime city residents assume it is a run-of-the-mill library, never suspecting what art treasures it contains. This sounds like a place I want to visit. Anyway, so this is a one blank question. And the blank has everything to do with the name of this library. That's what this whole question is about. The name of the library has long been blanked. I don't know. So let's focus on the name of the library. What is the name of the library? It is the Sloan Matthew Library. Now, Sloan Matthew is a name, or maybe it's two names. I don't know. So there's, there's not much sense to those words, right? Sloan Matthew is just the name of a library. So it has to be something about the word library, right? Maybe this library isn't actually a library. And that's what, what the next part of the sentence kind of gets at. Even longtime city residents assume, so they think it's one thing, but it's actually something else. Uh, they assume that it is a run-of-the-mill library. So they see that it, the name is a library. So they say, well, it's probably just a library with a bunch of books. But in fact, it has a bunch of art treasures um, inside. So if we're talking about um, the name being something, how, how could we describe this? We say the, the name is uh, literally a misnomer, right? Or the name uh, hides what it actually is. So let's look at the answer options here. Revered. Maybe you know what that means, maybe you don't. It means um, uh, almost like worshipped or, or uh, held in very, very high esteemed. Honored, right? Um, no. Proposed? No. Misleading. Well, that's kind of what I'm looking for, right? The name is misleading because uh, it, it calls itself a library, but it's actually so much more. Uh, elevated? No. And intriguing? No. C is the correct answer here. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my online course, follow the link on my profile.